former Las Vegas teacher suing the Clark County School District after she was sexually assaulted and brutally beaten by a student. This is surveillance video the day the incident occurred, April 7th of 2022 at El Dorado High School. That student, Jonathan Garcia Martinez, was sentenced to serve a minimum of 16 years in prison. The teacher now accuses CCSD of negligence for failing to protect her and make her aware that she had violent students in her class. That lawsuit also drawing attention to the high number of violent incidents at CCSD over the years. The U.S. Secretary of Education was in Las Vegas today. We asked him about student and teacher safety right here in the Valley. A News Now Education reporter Joshua Peguero live in studio joins us. Joshua, with that conversation. Yeah, Brian, Secretary Miguel Cardona tells me the lack of respect for teachers in schools may have something to do with the violence. He adds the problems in the community bleed into the schools and something must be done to address it. We must recognize that violence in schools oftentimes is community violence spilling into the schools. So while we want to support our schools and make sure that they're safe, we have to recognize it's a community-wide effort. Cardona was in town to discuss efforts to recruit more CCSD teachers. He says safety is part of that conversation. People to come into the profession, we have to make sure that there's safety in there and that they're being cared for and that the students are safe as well. District data shows since the start of the school year, CCSD PD have seized 42 guns, 22 have been on campus and 20 off campus. Students must feel safe on campus, period. Cardona says community-based organizations have to step up. Dads in Schools is one group that's already doing the work. We have volunteers from our own community that go into the schools, help keep it safe for the students and the staff. And they also look out for other things like drugs coming in. They partner with 146 CCSD schools. Pastor Troy Martinez says he struggles with finding volunteers, but the presence of an adult does make a difference. The students, the teachers, the principals, they feel safer. They know the community cares. That's what it's about. Now, dads in schools report a reduction in violent incidents when one of their volunteers is present. They are currently looking for volunteers. Brian.